at the challenge, um, you know, it seemed like I got across everything first. And, you know, I was, I don't know, I've been a pitcher of softball all my life and was pitching the balls in there. And I guess Jervis just got ahead and must have been throwing them underhand, hitting a few at a time. I probably should have glanced over my shoulder to the right, but sometimes when you're in immunity challenges, you want to just stay in the zone and stay focused on your game, not worried about somebody else's because those few split seconds can make or break you. And he got all his down and I had two standings. Second place sucks. So Jeff announces, you know, the winner of this challenge wins an ice cream social, that there's going to be ice cream back at camp. Immediately through my mind, perfect. You know, I'm somebody that really doesn't like to exclude anyone. And I'm thinking, all right, I win this. I can do without ice cream. Had he said steaks and baked potatoes, I might've said, oh. So I'm thinking if I can pull this one out, awesome. I'm gonna give the ice cream to everybody else. Sadly, I didn't, but good news for Monica. Maybe by not winning, I finally had my first taste of real food. Um, not imaginatory food, but real food. And Jervis invited me to his ice cream party as a favor for me giving him hamburgers, hot dogs, french fries, and all the condiments and, and sodas he could have. So I was very, 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 very happy that a week ago I let Jervis eat instead of me because it sure feels awesome on day 32 to taste ice cream and there was every flavor beyond what I've ever seen in my grocery store out here in the Philippines. There was chocolate, chocolate hazelnut, Swiss almond with vanilla, there was chocolate strawberry, there were Carmelo cones, white chocolate cones, there were ice cream bars, lemon bars, root beer bars, chilled cream soda, chilled root beer, and it just kept getting deeper and deeper and further and further and it was the most divine, decadent reward that I could have ever asked for on day 32. And I'm so glad that I'm Jervis's friend today.